Welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanted to share some of the amazing results that I've been getting um, as a hypnotist. So what I do is I work in the deepest level of trance um, in order to facilitate some amazing healing. And in this state, not only can you get answers to anything, <laughs> your life's purpose, relationships, what your next career move should be, um, you also can get miraculous healing. And I was, um, I was hesitating to use the word miraculous, but it really is. I don't have another word for it. Um, so I just wanted to share some of the results that I've seen just in the last, I don't know, 100 sessions maybe. So these are all my own personal experiences. Um, and these are things that I've witnessed in sessions. I'm not a healer. I've never healed anyone. I guide people to do this healing for themselves with some help, of course. <laughs> so um, the obvious ones when it comes to like um, what people think of as hypnotism, since this is all in your mind, a lot of the mental things, um, every day there's uh, uh, depression, anxiety, things like that, people with bipolar, um, ADD, ADHD. Um, all these are, they're all in the mind anyway. So uh, the cool thing is in one session, most people can get off almost all their meds. Um, if not all, because um, all this stuff is tied in the mind. So we get we figure out where this is coming from, and this programming that's running in the background, we you can think of it like a computer. We just reprogram this part, rewrite your story. It doesn't have to be there anymore. You can still acknowledge that these events happened, but you're no longer emotionally charged or no no longer emotionally tied to those events. So they don't they're not debilitating. So um, I can look back at the, the worst times in my life and I see them as the best times now because they all happen to get me here. But I understand in the middle of it, it's very confusing and it's hard to see that, that perspective. So what we do is we just re release the emotional attachment to these things, figure out where it's coming from, and then that's no longer a program playing in the background. 95% of your reality is created by your subconscious programming. A lot of this occurred at birth. I find that a lot of these beliefs and things aren't even yours. <laughs> They're the beliefs of parents, beliefs of whoever you're around as a child. And you took on those beliefs. So we let go of those beliefs and rewrite that part of your mind. So you don't have those anymore. Um, in my own journey, um, I was able to get past, what, $100,000 in medical expenses couldn't. Um, I got off all my meds. I honestly, I haven't had a bad day since. <laughs> um, it, it's been pretty amazing. So my own, own journey, uh, I was having uh, seizures every week before before I was on medication. And then even on medication, I was still having them. So I was pretty maxed out for the amount of medication I've, I was on. Now it's been a couple years, I haven't had any. Um, since my session, I haven't had any. And But even in my session, I was like, really, that's it? It's gone? <laughs> I had a hard time trying to grasp that. but. I see it every day now, so it's like I just know it's a thing, um, and it's been so long. But I still did carry all my medication with me, and my um, because I, I was concerned something would happen again. But I just know now, and that that believing turned into a knowing, and I just I just know that's not my reality. So um, the way this works, everything's a message to your body. You've, most of you have heard me say this. Everything's a message to your body. Um, once you get that message, you just don't need it anymore. Uh, as a side effect of healing and releasing a lot of these things, um, I sleep every night. <laughs> I sleep a full night every night. Uh, I used to think two or three hours of sleep was normal, <laughs> but um, it's all from the, these mental things that I let go of. I realize that most stuff that I'm worrying about doesn't really matter. <laughs> so I'm worried about all this stuff in the future, worried about all this stuff in the past, so it's causing like this anxiety, depression. Um, and I just being in the moment, being in the now, that's what a lot of people are told um, in their sessions when they come with these things. Like if you focused on now, what's happening right now? <laughs> what's happening right now in your life? Mm, nothing? <laughs> okay, you don't really have anything to be worried about. It's living in those heightened states of, of fear and anxiety that you, you just don't need. A lot of these things are tied to fear. Um, and I've been told fear is for entertainment purposes only. And if you're being chased by a bear, probably run. <laughs> but to stay in that heightened state, it's not good for you. Um, even like physiologically, they know this. This isn't like new information. Um, but staying in that heightened state of fear, 
it's not serving any good. You're you're envisioning the worst case scenario, and your brain doesn't know the difference between what's happening and or what you think is happening and what is really happening. So we release that fear, and then the problems just go away. It's like, nah, doesn't matter. <laughs> you can acknowledge it, but you don't have that emotional attachment to it. All right. So one of the things I found was very interesting is how much your beliefs play into this. Um, I've had many, many people who have actually had the symptoms. So I address the symptoms in my work. I address what, what are the symptoms because even different labels for different diseases can manifest different in the human body. So I focus on what are the symptoms. They tell me a lot more about what's going on anyway. But uh, a lot of the times people created the symptoms of a condition because a person in a white coat, a doctor, told them they had a condition. And a lot of times, like, all of a sudden, like, the blood won't match up, but they'll have all the other symptoms, or, um, and they have these, like, weird conditions. Uh, and we find out, yeah, you're just actually making that happen by thinking that it's happened, <laughs> or that you have it. Um, one of the ones just recently was Hashimoto's. The person created all these symptoms of Hashimoto's without actually having it. So we just erase that belief and it goes away. Pretty easy to fix. <laughs> um, uh, some of the other ones too that I've noticed is um, people that have things in their family. So they're like, oh, my mom had this, my grandma had this, has this, oh, I'm supposed to have this. And that's not actually, no, you don't. <laughs> you don't have to have this. <laughs> so if we let go of that belief that, that you need that. You don't actually need that. All right. So, um, yeah, we, it's easy, real easy to let go. Another common one, don't get sucked into these things either. Become aware of these. Um, people are like, oh, I'm getting old. I have to have this. No, I, no you don't. <laughs> Your body isn't made to fall apart. Um, just because you're getting old doesn't mean like things have to start falling apart. Okay, I've, I've noticed this a lot with people, 50s, 60s, 70s, they're like, oh, it's just, just a sign of, of aging. Mm, no, it's not. <laughs> when we go back, we actually find out because they believe that they're creating it. Um, it just blows my mind. But yeah, we release that belief and then the, the physical symptoms go away. And it re really is that easy. All right. Um, as far as some of the cool physical healing, uh, this part just fascinates me because of like my scientific background. And some of the stuff is so crazy that I actually wouldn't believe me if I talked to me from two years ago. <laughs> so I get it if you're, if you're not on board. I, I mean, I was there not even that long ago. I just see it every day and... Um, if you're one of the people that have had some of these amazing things happen in one of these sessions, um, feel free to comment so other people know what's possible. I don't want people to take my word for it because I could tell you anything. But um, yeah, uh, people write on my page all the time about all the different healings and stuff that they've received. So uh, this is real. This is <laughs> other people can share their stories. Um, I had uh, someone that I worked with that uh, went in for surgery. They had I don't know, I think like a hundred and some stitches on one side of their body from cleaning out their arteries and veins and they were going to go back in and for, from all these blockages. Well, um, they are going to go back in for surgery a little while later because they could only do half at a time. And in, the, in between we did a, a session and they went back to the doctor and the blockages had cleared up <laughs> to the point where they didn't need surgery anymore. And the person is actually stuck in the hospital the whole day because they're like, well, this can't happen. <laughs> I don't know how many times that, that happened where they're like, oh, this can't happen. It just, this, yeah, this can't happen. <laughs> so someone must have screwed this up. And um, there was a lady that someone else worked with that in a week she had the, all the cartilage replaced in her knee <laughs> when she was scheduled for surgery. Of course, like, I can't imagine being a doctor on the other side of this and being like, okay, what the heck? You know, like, I, I, I wouldn't believe it either. So, I mean, I get it. But they go back for the surgery and then they just don't need it because there's no reason. So, of course, it's someone's fault that they screwed up the results or whatever. <laughs> but because um, some people can't wrap their mind around that this could even possibly happen. And I used to be one of those. So, trust me, I get it. Um, I've had people that have been in car accidents. And in the session, the, all their bones get moved back into place. <laughs> like they learned what they needed to from it. So uh, they move all the bones back into place if that's, if that's appropriate for the healing. So whatever it is. Um, I've had people move their skulls back into place. I've had um, someone who, uh, they were off balance because their legs were different sizes and they were off balance in their life. And they're like, oh, they found balance again. They don't need this. And I'm like, so do you like shorten one of the legs? They're like, oh no, but we can regrow this part of the tibia. 
<laughs> like, like it gets it gets so wild. All right, cool. And then it happens. So you can't argue with the results. Um, some of the people that I've talked to, they're like, oh, do you have the scientific evidence of how this happens? No, I don't. <laughs> but but I have the end results. And the thing is, you could monitor every single system in the body, and that still won't explain why this happens. It'll explain how it happens, but not why. So um, I think I just see this as another layer because I can ask all those scientific questions. Okay, how is this happening? Oh yeah, we just do this and this and all right, cool. Um, but that doesn't explain the why. So like I said, I see everything as a message to the body. Once you get that message, yeah, you just don't need this anymore. So even like that car accident, that wasn't an accident. That was a message, and I forget what it is. I've had so many so many things happen, but. Um, yeah, the person got that message, they learned what they needed to, so yeah, yeah, we can fix that. <laughs> so, um, uh, one of the ones not too long ago, a person actually had an organ regrown that was that was removed medically, and this organ, they said, oh yeah, their DNA is, is activated enough where they can they can just regrow a new one. <laughs> all right, cool. So I'll regrow a new one, symptoms went away from that condition, and yeah, problem solved. So. I would have thought that was great. I didn't even think that was possible. Like, you can do that? Like, yeah, all right, let's do it. <laughs> um, uh, one of the cool things, I've, I've worked on cancer on a scientific level for a good chunk of time. And it's really cool to get these these um, cancer cases that they're gone in a couple weeks with no other treatment. Um, and it's pretty cool, the message. The message is very, very literal. Um, uh, you th think about what the, the part of the body is, and it's usually like um, suppressed anger is what, what ends up causing that cancer. So uh, I've had several people with breast cancer, and it's anger about the way that they were nurtured. Um, I did have one that had two different types of breast cancer. So the, the right is things that are happening right now. The left is usually the past. So... Um, yeah, the cancer was yeah anger about the way they were raised, anger about the the way they were nurtured. Um, my mom never told me she loved me, so you keep that anger down. So that's where it comes from. Um, I did have one that was a different type of cancer. It wasn't really that that profound compared. She had two different types. Um, one was about anger of being nurtured, and the other one was actually the guilt of not breastfeeding her children. So. I should point out that all this stuff that I share, I did have permission to share. I don't use anyone's names. I just want people to know the, the extent to which healing is possible. Um, other forms of cancer, mouth, throat, pancreatic, liver. Um, yeah, it can just go away. It's, a, it's your body's last ditch effort to get you a message. So once you get the message, you just don't need it anymore. Yeah, it's really that simple. So amazing stuff. I've worked on anti-cancer drugs. None of them work this well. <laughs> and the thing is, you can cut off a body part, and if you didn't get the message, it's just going to come back. Um, you people know, you know people that have gone through all this, all these cancer things, but they, if they didn't change anything in their life, the message is going to return. Um, so that, that's also very important for people that are going through this, if they want to like look for healing on their own, just kind of be aware of that. Like, okay, what reflect, what do I need to change in my life? And the part of the body tells you more. Um, uh, the mouth, throat, what am I angry, not, not speaking about that I'm suppressing anger. Um, yeah, so you can look at it that way. Think about what the function of the body is. All right. So um, some of the other just wild stuff that I've seen, uh, <laughs> the like stuff that we can't do medically just blows my mind. Um, I worked with someone that had permanent nerve damage, like permanent nerve damage. <laughs> um, and they they could barely like hobble over to to do the to do the session and in the session we found out they were just recreating pain um and it was just the memory of pain that was being recreated they didn't actually have any pain <laughs> but you <laughs> they wouldn't know the difference i mean they they were experiencing the pain every day um and so i asked well, how are you doing this and they're like well you know that paintbrush tool on the computer i'm just yeah i'm just erasing that memory of pain in my mind <laughs> I'm sitting there like, okay, <laughs> um, however you're doing it. And um, yeah, the next day, the lady said she walked around for five hours with her family. Um, so just phenomenal stuff. And um, yeah, I don't know another way that you could do this. Like they're just, she had lived with that for years and years and the uh, neurologist and said, no, we just, you just have to live with it. It's permanent nerve damage. She even got taken to the hospital. They thought she was having a stroke. 
Um, they said, oh, you just have to live with that. We don't have a way to fix that. It was all in her mind anyway. So I, I find it just fascinating. Um, I was debating whether or not to put this next part in here, I, but I'm going to just be bold and tell, say it. Um, I have had people that have had um, things that they couldn't explain that were actually caused by ETs coming to visit. And in all these cases, um, there was a contract before they came to Earth to um, be observed or be uh, monitored or uh, different types of things. And in each of these cases, they said they had to honor that contract, and this, the person said, well, they didn't want it anymore because it was causing, um, causing issues in their life, and um, we, we ripped up that contract, and they haven't had any visit since, and no, no physical effects um, since our session. So this has been a couple people now. Um, but and I was like, yeah, they said they have to honor that contract. They agreed to it before they came in here. Um, they can also unagree to it. So, um, I found that pretty fascinating. Uh, the, um, some of the other healing that was possible is what I call, um, surrogate sessions. Some people call them proxy sessions. So, there's people that I've never even met that have gotten healing from this. Uh, I do this a lot with kids. Uh, kids that, um... Uh, yeah, I don't do sessions with kids, so I usually go through like one of the parents or something like that. Um, one, the first way I kind of stumbled on this, I was doing a session with someone and their identical twin got the same healing, <laughs> and I've never even met this person. So um, since then we've just been playing around with it, and yeah, um, a lot of healing for kids or people that are unable to do a session like this. So I, I found it very powerful. Uh, that being said, I, I also don't like to, if a person's capable of doing this themselves, I don't like to take away this lesson and the self-realization journey for them. Like, I I'm just like to get them to a spot where they can do their, a session themselves, but it, the healing's kind of on them. If you want, to, if they want to stick, they have to, like, be ready and want to make those changes in their life. Um, sometimes, uh, one of the, one of the kid ones is pretty cool. Uh, we went back and they had like a, a negative entity attached to them that came through and at a certain age and they were like uh, cognitively disabled and um, had all these other things. They showed no emotion and uh, of course this kid didn't know that we had done this but re removed that in the session. Well, can that be removed? Sure. <laughs> so uh, removed that and uh, I got a message saying, oh, my kid came home and, or my grandkid came home and was doing math for two hours on stuff that <laughs> never knew how to do. It came home, gave me a hug, and like, you know, just total different kids. It was like back to being themselves, and so we we wanted to see what was going on at that time, what happened at this certain time, and that's what happened. So we just removed that and problem solved. So just amazing stuff that we can do in this. Um, a lot of these beliefs you're carrying around aren't even yours. <laughs> like we go back and it's like, oh, is your mom's? That was like. That was when you were in the womb because you're connected to the mother and you uh, take on these things. Um, so yeah, we just, we can rewrite that part. All right, um, probably the, the most, the wildest, like the, some of the wildest healing was actually on inanimate objects. <laughs> um, it sounded like the, the front end of our car was gonna fall off. So I figured, you know, we can ask anything. Uh, let's let's ask in a session what what's wrong with the car because we we're gonna have it towed in. Sound like the front end was gonna fall off, and my partner was worried about the the kid she was gonna be babysitting. So what they did, um, I was like, yeah, we're doing the session, and I said, so what's wrong with the car? She's worried about the the kids that now she's gonna be babysitting. Figured I could fix it, and they're like, oh, don't worry, we already fixed it for you. <laughs> I was like what? <laughs> and they're like, oh, you can take it in. I see you're doubting, doubting this, but uh, you can take it in. They're not going to find anything, though. <laughs> you can take it in for peace of mind, but they're not going to find anything. So I'm like, yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> Go out, t start the car. Doesn't make any noise. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Still took it in, and we brought it in. They're like, why'd you bring this in? There's nothing wrong with your car. <laughs> um, everything's way more flexible than it, it seems. Um, yeah, so just the only limitations now are things that I think can't happen, and I've seen so much wild stuff, so I can't see, I can't wait to see where it goes from here. So, um, if you have your own uh, uh, healing sessions or um, own um, 
own healing that you've gotten your any sessions, uh, put it in the comments so other people can see what's possible. And um, this is just, just keep in mind this is just a brief overview. I've pretty much anything that comes this like that we cover in a session can be healed. Uh, if we dig deep enough, you get to the root of it, and then you just don't need it anymore. Um, there is the free will aspect of it. Uh, if, uh, something's happening with your with your legs, and they're like, oh yeah, they're not moving forward on their direction, um, and they need to quit their job because it's making them sick. If you don't quit your job, it's not going to go away. <laughs> so that's the free will aspect of things. You can you can not listen, <laughs> but um, in these sessions, you give yourself some pretty darn good advice. It usually makes sense to listen. Uh, since I listened to since I've listened to the advice in my session, uh, my life has become magical, and it just keeps unfolding from there. So, um, yeah, feel free to hit me up if you have any questions, and I'll try to get to any questions in the comments. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.